You better shut your white mouth. I'm not kidding you. I know some of you was raised in the deep south and you was raised by prejudiced people and bigoted people. You better get that out of your system. You better get it out of your system. It'll cause you to suffer right along with those masters. It'll cause you to suffer right along with them. These are God's people. And I know that there's wicked and white races and wicked and black races and all that. I'm not justifying none of that stuff. I'm just saying God knows what happened to the black race. He knows how they wound up over here. And God is going to re reimburse the black people for all their trouble and all their labor. You watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Here, I have a rare video of a man speaking on the underground structure of the Board of Education. Everybody's been talking about school and education. Well, in etymology, the word education comes from the word educere, which means to bring out of you what's in you. Mm -hmm. Schools don't do that. Schools give you something and you regurgitate it back. And that's how you get an A. This is called the 1902 Board of Education Act, okay? The endowment was given by John D. Rockefeller and Andrew Carnegie. They gave $30 billion. They actually owned the public school system, okay? And I'm going to read to you what their mission was. It says, prior to the late 1800s, education was private practice that took place in private institutions or through homeschooling. That all changed in 1902 when John D. Rockefeller created the General Education Board in conjunction with Frederick T. Gates. Now, who was Frederick T. Gates? Have you ever heard of Bill? Mm. That's Frederick T. Gates is his grandfather. So this is what Frederick T. Gates said. Let me skip. Albert Einstein said, never confuse education with intelligence. John D. Rockefeller said, I don't want a nation of thinkers. I want a nation of workers. So at the advent of the, of the Industrial Revolution, okay, at its inception, they had to create workers in order to, to establish the Industrial Revolution. Mm -hmm. Well, think about this. The plantation became the plant, okay? The overseer became the supervisor, right. mm -hmm. and master became the manager. Right. That's the only yeah. difference. It's the same thing. That's right. It only changes its appearance like a cloud. That's true. So what I'm saying to everybody is I would suggest that everyone get into the forensics. There's one other thing called the King Alfred plan, okay? The King Alfred plan was a CIA operative that was designed by, by J. Edgar Hoover, to, to, to destroy any black community, any black organization, and any black leader that showed any type of messianic energy, okay? It's happened today through COVID. The reason they're trying to freaking kill you is because they don't know which one of you is the Messiah, okay? <laughs>